welcome back to the Beach Mom Bookworm. I am Sydney. I'm so glad y'all found me again today. But tell us all about Coastal Mysteries and Romance Books. And today, I am of need of your help. Oh my goodness. Okay, so each year I start new series. And I try to limit them to the number that is of the year. So 24 to start in 2024, 25. You get it, right? So we're at 25. The problem is I have a hundred, well, okay. So I had 109, went to 110. Then I thought, okay, well, if I could do this series, I could have you vote on a group of five, but I would need 125, right? Five, 10, you get it, you get it. So by sacrifice, because of how much I love you and how much you all mean to me, I found however many more, 15 more, so that um, I could have an even 125. It was a real, it was a, it was a real sacrifice. I, oh man. Okay, so each one of these is going to have 25 and you'll vote on, most of the time you vote on five. If there's a series, like there's one in this one, so I'm gonna ask you to vote for four because there's one book series in this group that I'm set on. Like I want in my 25 to start in 2025. So I'll have you vote on four this time. You can vote here. You can just tell me you're four here. You can um, vote in the Discord and um, I will put a, up a, excuse me, I will put up a community poll as well. Okay. So those are the places you can vote. I greatly appreciate it because on my own, I am left to 125 series and um, it hurts my soul to narrow them down. So I'll leave it to you all. <laughs> it's out of my hands. Okay, let's get started. We're talking about the possibilities of 25 to start in 2025. Vote for four today in three, two, one, go. As always, don't forget to hit the like, subscription, notification bell, the like button, bell, blah, blah, blah. it's not a bell, the button, the button, the button helps us out in the algorithm. The notification bell tells you when I put out new videos each and every single week so you don't miss anything. And the subscription keeps my channel growing and you'll get to come back and see how things go with my 25 to start in 25. And next year you can follow my journey of the challenge. <laughs> Um, I also tell you how many series beyond the 25 that I start in the year as well. So, yeah. Okay. Let's go. The first one is the Mall Cop series. The first book in this series is called Die Buying. This is by Laura De Silverio. And I think that there's another series about bookaholics or something that's by her as well. But I haven't read it. So, this says it features Emma Joy Ferris likes mall cop work, even though it's a bit more humdrum than the military policing she did in the army. But there's no time to be bored when Sebra liberates a 15-foot python from the herpetology hut and a mannequin turns out to be a very real corpse. There are three books in this series. Oh, I want to tell you which ones to vote for, but I would say it on all of them. So don't listen to me. Let's move on. Nope, nope. I'm keeping my biases to myself. Although I will tell you the one series that I'm set on. Okay, so the next one is the Rev and Rye series. This is by Maria Mankin. The first book is called Death at Fair Havens. This says that Wanda Duff is an unconventional New England clergywoman. Addicted to chicken wings, high octane ice cream, and saying yes to anyone in need of prayer, even when the folks in her town might not think they deserve it. Oh my goodness. So there are three books in this series. Oh my gosh. Okay, number three is the Sunny Side Up Cozy Mystery series. There's only one book out in this series. It's called, I love this title, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Lies. This is by Misty Simon. I love Misty Simon. It says, welcome to the sunny side up diner where the pancakes are fluffy, the bacon is crisp, and murder should not be on the menu. That's right. <laughs> the next one, number four, this is the one that I'm set on. It is the Barbara Hollis Murder Mystery Series. This is by Blith Baker. 
The first book is called The Happy Housekeeper's Guide to Homicide. This just looks so like the time period, the clothes. I just really want to try it. And I like to have a variety and I've never read a cozy like this. Um, so I, I have to give it a shot. It says bloody murder is the last thing on Barbara Hollis's mind when she agrees to travel to a sleepy little town to keep house for her widowed brother. Aside from chasing her irritating young nephews, she thinks the biggest challenge she'll face is learning how to cook a proper souffle. I feel you, Barbara, I feel you. But a bizarre encounter on a train quickly draws into a more complicated and dangerous future than she bargained for. There are seven books in that series. Again, that's the one I'm set on. Next up is the Food and Spirits Cozy Mystery Series. Only one book out in it because it just came out last month or something. But it looks so cute. It sounds so cute. It's by Darcy Hanna. I really like Darcy Hanna. Book one is called A Fatal Feast at Brumsford Manor. It says Chef Bridget Bunny McBride has a new reality TV show, Food and Spirits, where Chef Bunny teams up with a ghost hunter and a psychic medium to visit haunted locales around the world and tempt lingering spirits to back to the table with a beloved meal. I think that sounds so fun. It's definitely different. It just depends on how uh, paranormal it is. But I really want to give it a shot. Number six is the Paris, Kentucky Bakery Cozy Mystery Series. This is by... Rose Betancourt, who I really like her Haunted Vengeance series. Number one is called Macarons Can Be Murder. There's one book out in this series, and I did not write a blurb, but I just remember it saying something. Uh, I didn't write it down, but I just remember the blurb saying something like, um, she's very into couture and Paris, but she lives in Paris, Kentucky. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny, and I love bakery cozies, and so I had to... I had to put it on here. Number seven is the Bread and Batter Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Caroline Barrett, who I've never heard of, so that intrigues me. First book is called Bun for Your Life. <laughs> That's a fantastic title. It says, <clears throat> it says that this is set in New York. It features co-owners of Bread and Batter Bakery, Molly Tyler and Olivia Williams. Molly is recently divorced and looking for a place to live. In the first book, Molly and Olivia are preparing for Destiny's annual apple harvest fair when a body is found. And now, Molly is the prime suspect. Two books out in that series. Oh my gosh, that title is fantastic. Number eight is the Dream Club Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called Nightmares Can Be Murder. This is by Mary Kennedy. This is set in Savannah, Georgia, which makes me very happy. It features business consultant Taylor Blake, who has returned to Savannah to help her sister Allison turn her dream of running an old-fashioned candy store into a reality. That makes me happy. Allison is also interested in dream interpretation and invites Taylor to her Friday night dream club where members meet once a week to share and analyze their dreams three books out in that series next up is number nine it is the paxton park cozy mystery series book one is called peril in paxton park this is by j.a whitting it says it's set in massachusetts love massachusetts for our cozy it says after surviving a terrible car crash in boston 28 year old shelly taylor accepts a part-time job as a baker at a mountain resort in Western Massachusetts. This story has some mild paranormal elements. It actually says that I included it because I'm not a huge paranormal fan, but mild is right up my alley and it's a mountain resort. So I'm very excited about that series. Five books in that series. Next up at number 10 is the White House Chef series. This has been on my TBR for a very long time. It's by Julie Heisey. And I think it that this is the series that is one of my good friend's favorites, which is Elizabeth from Lizzie Falo's books. I think this is the series that she really, really likes. Book one, it's called State of the Onion. It says that never let them see you sweat. That's White House assistant chef Olivia's motto, which is pretty hard to honor in the most important kitchen in the world. She's 
heck bent on earning her dream job as executive chef. Nine books in that series. Sounds really fun. Next up, this is so cute. It's the Barks and Beans Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called No Filter. This is by Heather Day Gilbert. This is set in West Virginia. And there's a few, but not a whole lot of West Virginia cozies. So this might be a good fit for the U.S. Cozy Mystery Road Trip Challenge that we're taking this year. It says, fed up with her go-nowhere job, newly single Macy Hatfield moves back to her small hometown in West Virginia. She joins forces with her brother, Bo, at his crazy new venture, the Barks and Beans Cafe, which caters to dog lovers and coffee drinkers alike. Nine books in that series. Oh my gosh, a coffee and dog place that has my heart. Number 12 is another Darcy Hannah. It is the Very Cherry Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called Cherry Pies and Deadly Lies. There are two books out in this series, I believe. This is set in Wisconsin. Wisconsin, any cold weather place is my favorite place for a cozy. If you're new, let me tell you, the only way I want to experience winter is through a book. So I enjoy the winter settings for cozies. <laughs> this features Whitney Bloom, who runs a family orchard and inn business, the Cherry Orchard Inn. Whitney was living in Chicago and was fired from her advertising job. To make ends meet, Whitney started baking cherry treats. But when she gets a phone call from home that a murder has occurred at the orchard, she immediately heads back. Next up at number 13 is the Dinner Club Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called Toasting Up Trouble. This is by Linda Wyken. There's three books out in the series. This features event planner Jennifer J.J. Tanner. Okay, first of all, a couple things. For I love event planner when our main character is an event planner because that means lots of fairs and festivals and competitions and all that stuff in the cozies. And that is my, one of my favorite things about cozies. Two, Jennifer J.J. Tanner, like DJ Tanner, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Tanner is an event planner by day and a foodie by night. She's recently joined a local group of friends who takes turns hosting dinners where everyone brings a dish from one particular cookbook. Three books out in that series. That sounds so fun. Next up is number 14. It's the Blossom Valley Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called Going Organic Can Kill You. This is by Stacey McLaughlin. This has been on my TBR for a while. Six books out in this series. It is set in California. It features Dana Lewis, who is in charge of marketing at the O'Connell Organic Farm and Spa. Oh, I love farm cozies. Next up at 15, it's an ice cream shop cozy. It is the Coffee and Cream Cafe Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Lena Gregory. These have the cutest covers. Book one is called Murder All in the Mood. This is, it looks like that there are four books out in this series. This is set in New York. It's so interesting. We've had a couple and New York is, hmm, I'm surprised. It says, when 25-year-old Danica Delaney, black sheep of the Delaney clan, returns home to Long Island to take over Jimmy's, her centric uncle's old-fashioned malt shop, on Eastern Long England Island. She's not exactly thrilled. I'm thrilled for her. I hope she, I hope she ends up enjoying it, but I'm thrilled for her because an old fashioned malt shop is, I've been waiting on an old, like a malt shop, old soda shop, something like that cozy for a long time. Next up is number 16. It's the Vermont Radio Cozy Mystery Series. I told you I lack variety. I just, I want some of everything. So first book, only one book out, is called Live, Local, and Dead right here. This is by Nikki Knight, and it says it's set in Vermont, another one of my favorite places for a cozy. It features Jay, who thought life would be quieter when she left New York City and bought a tiny Vermont radio station. She has a tween daughter, Ryan, a flatulent moose that lives in the transmitter shack, and Neptune, the giant gray cat that lives at the station. Oh my gosh, that sounds hilarious. Next up at number 17 is the special Pennyfoot Hotel Cozy Mystery Series. Book number one is called 
room with a clue. This is by Kate Kingsbury. Y'all, there are 21 books in this series. 21. It says, the Pennyfoot Hotel hides many secrets and its downstairs staff keeps a tight lip even when the Edwardian aristocrats are spotted with damsels in the boudoir or gambling in the forbidden card rooms hidden below the floorboards. Should should now and then one of the hotel guests fall prey to dastardly murder? However, it is up to Cicely Sinclair to restore order before Scotland Yard steps in and shuts down the infamous Seaside Hotel. Next up at number 18 is the Movie Palace Cozy Mystery Series. I've been waiting on a movie cozy. I know that there's one other, um, but there's just not very many, so I'm happy to see this. Three books in this series. Book number one is called Murder at the Palace. This is by Margaret DeMoss. It says that it's set in San Francisco, California. It features Nora, whose movie star husband leaves her for his latest co-star. She flees Hollywood to take refuge in San Francisco at the Palace, a historic movie theater that shows the classic films she loves. Then she finds a band of misfit film buffs who care about movies almost as much as she does. Oh, and then there's Trixie, the lively ghost of a 1930s usherette who only appears to Nora and has a lot to catch up on. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds fantastic. Next up is the Goodbye Girls Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Josie Bell. Book number one is called 50% Off Murder. This is a series of five. It says it's set in Virginia, another place where there's not a whole lot of cozies. Maggie Gerber runs the Goodbye Girls, made up of four women who are master shoppers and coupon clippers. That premise launches her engaging mystery full of humor, a layered plot, and even a little romance. The quirky characters drive this clever story. So fun. Next up at number 20, I don't have a lot of information for it. Sounded tight fun. The series name got me, so here we are. It is the Craft Fair Knitters Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called A Wicked Yarn. This is by Emmy Caldwell. There are three books out in this series, and the only thing I know is it features knitting enthusiast Leah. I thought that the title sounded really fun. Next up is number 21. It is the Weaving Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called Looming Murder. This has four books in it. This is by Carol Ann Martin. It says it's set in North Carolina. It features Della, who comes to the Blue Ridge Mountains to purchase a weaving studio. She offers weaving workshops and gets to know the small town's colorful characters. Ooh. See, I don't know how y'all are going to pick. That's why I'm leaving it up to you because I can't do it myself. Next up at number 22 is the Threadville Cozy Mystery Series. This is by Janet Bullen, who is Deputy Dona Ginger Bolton. Book one is called Dire Threads. This has, I think, five, five books in it. It says Willow leaves New York City behind and has joined a good friend, Haley, in a tour bus destination town. Threadville, nicknamed for the abundance of fiber art and fabric stores, uh, fabric stores, Elderberry Bay, I love that town, PA, okay, looks like a perfect setting for Willow's new machine embroidery shop. The covers on these are also adorable. Number 23 is the Mary Rath series. This is by Leslie Langtree. Please pick this. I'm trying not to be biased, but look, I'm not dead set on it, but I've had it on the series list so many times that I really want to start it. Okay. Mm. This is by Leslie Langtree. I don't know if I said that. Book number one is called Merit Badge Murder. This has 32 books in it. 32 books. It is set in Iowa. There are not very many cozy set in Iowa. So... This features CIA agent Mary Rath, who is accidentally at, outed, and she's forced into early retirement. Mary changes her appearance and moves where no one else will find her. Iowa. <laughs> Instead of black bag drops in Bangkok, she now spends her time leading a young Girl Scouts troop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It looks like it's going to be so funny, and it's been on my list for so long. I've been very good at not being biased, but... 
Um, next up is the Sunset Lodge Cozy Mystery Series. There's eight books in this series. Book number one is called The Body in the Annex. This is by Diana uh, Exorissa. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I apologize now. If you know how to say it correctly, please let me know politely. I'm not doing it on purpose. Okay, so eight books. It's set in New York. We had quite a few New York cozies. I was just saying there's not a whole lot. Look, three in this video. Uh, set in New York, Abigail and Amanda, who goes by Mandy Clark, decide to give up the big city life and buy a historic lodge in New York's picturesque Finger Lakes region. Sunset Lodge has seen better days, but the sisters have big plans for the main lodge and a small annex. A handful of cottages are dotted around the property. We need more resorts, lodges, inns, all that stuff. I just love it so much. At number 25, this just sounded so different and unique. I had to put it on here. It is the Dublin Driver Cozy Mystery Series. Book one is called Dead in Dublin. This is by Katie Murphy. There are six books in this series. It is set in Ireland. It says it features cab driver Megan Malone. I, I love variety. It says ferrying tourists around Dublin for the leprechaun limo service makes a quite a change after years in the military. Still, Megan is enjoying her life in Ireland. She likes the scenery, the easy pace, and the quirky quick-witted locals. I do too. Oh my gosh. I am so glad that y'all are the ones voting. Please vote for four. Let me know what you're most excited about. If you've read any on this list, anything else that you want to talk about, about cozies, put it in the comments below. Give me a big thumbs up for this video. And until next time, may all of your future reads be five stars. Bye everybody.